Hello again from Victor Echo 6 Bravo Golf Tango. I had a bit of a snafu tinkering with the old uh, radio teletype system, so I set it aside and just thought I'd go back to this uh, experiment project and uh, see if I could get things working uh, properly. A couple of years ago, I came across a surplus amplifier, which was uh, pretty well shot inside, but the uh, active devices, these uh, FETs, were actually in good shape. Uh, I, I picked out what were the good ones and threw the rest of it away. And uh, this is leading up to a project I had in my head here for quite a while. The first thing I had to do was uh, build a circuit board out of the uh, special board material that would work at this frequency. Getting the board made and then uh, cut out as the usual fashion. I got it mounted on a board and took my uh, spectrum analyzer or sweep generator and uh, tuned the input circuit. These next two pictures are the before and after the uh, tuning uh, by placing the snowflakes on the input. It got me close and I had to know I'd have to adjust it later. Anyways, to make a uh, much longer story a lot shorter, I worked and worked on this thing uh, trying to get it snowflake to get some output and uh, it didn't work. I'm just, uh, I build them, I don't design the circuit boards. So back to hands, uh, Sugar Mike 6, Papa Golf Papa, and he, uh, he saved the day. This is what Hans came up with for the artwork, and I'm happy to say that it does work. Once again, I got ahead of myself. I, uh, I need a driver stage to drive this uh, new 10-watt amplifier I'm trying to build. Lucky for me, I have uh, friends that have lots and lots of goodies. I was able to pick up this 3-watt uh, amplifier, which is uh, just perfect for uh, driving the next stage. This little 3-odd module needs 10 volts for the uh, drain supply and also a negative voltage for bias. Once again, Hans had uh, designed such a nice circuit for the 6 centimeter amp that I built. It has a nice negative uh, circuit in there and has protection for uh, no bias at all. That I figured, well, we'll use it. I just had to modify it slightly for the lower voltage and uh, it worked like a charm. This is a picture or a close-up of the uh, modified bias board. Uh, almost too close. It looks rather ugly. And then uh, the next picture here is of it tied onto the 3 watt module on my little uh, test jig. The new 10 watt amplifier also needed a bias board. So instead of making uh, the same one I'm going to need more later, I got uh, a Dave V7HR to uh, mass produce some of these things for me. And this is what I came up with. Uh, looks much better than the one I made. This is what it looks like the new bias board connected to the uh, new 10 watt amplifier module. Uh, you see the jumpers that connect the two boards together. And then uh, with the power turned on and with uh, good bias, the uh, LEDs are a good indicator. So with no further delay, it's time to uh, light her up and see if it works. So this is the general layout of the uh, test setup here. Using an old Kenwood UHF radio for the uh, signal source that will be driving the transverter. The Alinco power supply is uh, providing 10 volts for the little three watt amplifier module. In this center here, you can see that set up with the uh, Coons transverter kind of standing on end, trying to keep the leads as short as possible. The output of the three watt module, of course, is uh, fed through a piece of flex cable into the input of the uh, 10 watt amplifier module on the test jig here. I have two amp meters hooked up in series. Uh, the Fluke is for setting the idling current because it shows a milliamps where the other panel meter is just an amps. Just to, oh, give me a bit of a indication of what's going on. From the output of the amplifier, it goes into the uh, HP power sensor through the attenuator, and the power supply up on the top there is what's feeding the amplifier the drain voltage. So here we go. I've just switched on the uh, bias supply on the three watt amplifier, keying the uh, transverter and the transmit with the uh, wire jumper next. Now over to the uh, amplifier under test to get it going. Just switched on the bias supply for it and you see we got about uh, 350 or 400 milliamps of idling current. All we're left to do now is uh, key it and see what happens. Well this is a good sign we're uh, keying it up when we got uh, a little over 4 amps of drain current on the amplifier. So we'll swing over to the uh, HP power meter and see what's going on.
Well, this is great. We're seeing just over 9 watts of output power. You notice the output drops by about half a watt or so, and that's from the uh, uh, voltage drop through all the wires and stuff I got going up to the amplifier itself. Uh, it loses about a volt and a half, actually. So this has been quite a successful little experiment. I had quite a bit of grief to get to this part. I uh, blew up one of the bias boards earlier by, I don't know, it must have been dyslexic. I hooked the darn polarity from the power supply backwards, and needless to say, it didn't do it any good. But uh, it finally got come together, and uh, it's working. Now you're going to ask, uh, what am I going to do with it? Well, this is one of my cunning plans from way, a little ways back. I machined up this uh, four-way splitter combiner for 10 gigahertz. In this picture, you can see the four SMA connectors between the splitter and the combiner. This is where the t four 10-watt amplifier modules were going to go into this position. And the output from the four 10-watt modules will be combined and uh, come out of this single SMA jack, uh, hopefully around uh, 40 watts. This project kind of got delayed because I've come into possession of some traveling wave tube amplifiers, which I've been really wanting to play with. One other thing that's kind of held me up on this thing is that I need four adjustable phase delays to uh, tune this thing. And uh, they're rather expensive, so it's uh, kind of got shelves. I'll see what happens with the traveling wave tube amplifiers first and then go from there. So that was a nice short little uh, video on my uh, ongoing 10 gigahertz experiment. As you see in this picture here, it's uh, April. The uh, spring is almost sprung, and I'll be getting back working on the 6-foot offset dish here shortly. So stay tuned. 73 Chanel from Victor Echo 6, Bravo, Golf Tango.